Okay, we have one of the hardest riders around in the pro cycling circuit, I should say. Hardest pro cyclist around, I would say David Babelian. He, he was back in the days of Pulte, and he, he won, uh, I think it was Amstel Gold, Flesh Wallon, and uh, Liège, Bastion Liège, in one week, three races in a week. Back in 2004, I think it was, the old Gelsteiner days. This is David Rebellion, and uh, arms on the outside of the straps there, but uh, definitely um, he got busted in 2008 Olympics. He finished second, tested positive, denied it. Did the smart move. If he was if he was honest, he would have got put in prison because in 2000, Italy put a law down. If you get caught doping, you go to prison. So he said, no, nah, it wasn't me. There's no proof, blah, blah, blah. So the, the Italian court said, okay, you're free. But the uh, UCI gave him a two-year ban. So this is Rebellion. Um, Rebellion, how do you say it? And uh, he's still racing. But he would definitely have some stories to tell. This is the face you have to have on your Deutsche Tep TT, the five minutes in, this is the face you gotta have. All right, Norton Summit TT, that's the face you gotta have uh, for Rebellion. He, he looks still lean, still slim, not much body fat there, he needs a bit of go free yourself Botox. Um, and we also have, look at him back in, I used to have one of those jerseys, man. Look at, look at him. That's probably when he was full natty bra, full natty bra, still really skinny, and then over time, uh, you sort of swelled her out a bit with the test long term. Um, and that's Pulte days, and the old Pulte vacuum cleaners. Uh, there was one of Rebellion's um, bikes he had. What's this one? Yeah, the old S Works tarmac back in the day. But a great example of just long term um, persistence. You know, did all the all the gear and all the gas, got the money, got sort of chewed up from pro cycling though. They don't really look after him. But that is pro sport today. It's cutthroat as fuck. There was a bike here. Remember those Gerolsteiner Kleins I used to have? And they had like the water droplets in the paint. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you can't really see it, but um, I'll bring it up. Um, Klein bike Gerolsteiner. Gerolsteiner was a team back in the mid 2000s, and they had this wicked bikes. Klein had the best paint jobs, I reckon. And you can't really see it, though, can you? But yeah, girl signs a team, and they got busted. A lot of riders got busted, so they uh, they they pulled the pin in the end. Competitive cyclist Dave Zabrisky used to race them from back in the day, I reckon. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so that's the old beast. It had the water droplets on there. It looked pretty good, man. It looked pretty good. It was a classic bike for its time, and it had those the rear facing dropouts. Anyway, that's David Rebellion. Bit of an unknown rider in his day. And, um, yeah, the old days. The good old days, eh? That climbs with a fucking Geos paint job. Wow, random. Random. Cycling. These days, no one's heard of people like that. But that's an example of just someone's consistent well into his 40s. Well into his 40s. That's Rebellion there again. And a uh, bit of a saddle, bar stem drop, isn't it? The old Durace 7700 group set. Back in the day, mate. Back in the day. I remember that stuff.